This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Crews had their hands full overnight battling a raging fire at a highly a mattress business. Firefighters responded to universal bedding at 860 East 9th Street. Flames poured out both front and back of the building. No one was inside when the fire broke out. The Domino's Pizza business next door is damaged. No word on the cause of the fire. Police are looking for three people in connection with the shooting of a man at the Southland Mall in Cutler Bay. Police say the shooting happened after a man got into a dispute with three young men yesterday afternoon. The victim who was shot in the back was conscious and talking to police. He was stable but rushed to Jackson South Medical Center. No one else was injured during the shooting. Now to a CBS 4 News exclusive. A father is in anguish after his 17-year-old son and his friend are accused of gunning down a 15-year-old at a Halloween party with rival gang members. 15-year-old Angel Quelly was shot at a party late last Saturday in Southwest Miami-Dade. This is the first time we hear from Braulio Cao. He tells CBS 4's Peter Dench he's been unable to sleep and is at wit's end ever since his son Josue was arrested. I feel like I, I lost two, two kids because I feel the other kid like mine, you know. Every day I give advice, I said, if you don't separate of your friends, you got two ways, cemetery or jail. Kyle's mother was in juvenile court with her son asking that he be locked up to deal with his drug addiction. The father says Kyle has been going to drug court for 27 months. His next hearing is November 12th. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is fining Jackson Health Systems for more than $2 million. Federal officials have determined its HIPAA compliance program has been in complete disarray for years. Those fines come after Jackson Health lost paper records with protected information for more than 2,000 of their patients back in 2016. In a separate violation, an operating room photograph containing a patient's medical information was leaked onto social media. And in a third violation, an employee was caught stealing and selling patients' medical records. Jackson Health treats more than 650,000 patients a year. Now, CBS4 weather. Hi there, South Florida. Finally, it is Friday, but for us, we're heading into a rather stormy, showery pattern, but nothing compares to what's happening today on this Friday morning across the deep south, lower Mississippi Valley from Alabama down through the Texas Gulf Coast, dealing with heavy rounds of rainfall, and it's associated with one, a low pressure system coming off from the west, and then another low. This is a tropical disturbance that's moving over the Gulf of Mexico. So what's happening here is that the front associated with the low over the south over the southern plains is going to absorb all that moisture from this tropical disturbance. Now this area in the Gulf does have a high chance for formation. There's a small window, a small period of time where it could become a tropical depression that will happen later on today, but it will be short lived because again this front will pick it up and then it'll become post tropical. But none nonetheless, this is a rainmaker for the deep south. So flooding concerns along the Mississippi River and into parts of the southeast. Now here at home, we are dealing with a few showers. The reason why is because we have a strong easterly breeze picking up moisture from the Atlantic Ocean. That's why we're dealing with a few passing showers. However, later on this evening, the showers are going to increase and the thunderstorm as well. We're expecting some heavy downpours overnight into Saturday morning because of this area right here. It is a mid level low that is bringing in tropical moisture from the Atlantic and the Caribbean. So that is why we're expecting the tropical downpours overnight into Saturday. Then as we head into the weekend, well, that tropical moisture just lingers since the front stays to the north of us. We have flow out of the southwest a lot. So that is pumping in that moisture from the tropics. Therefore, rain chances are on the higher end through Sunday. Now we'll still get some sunshine here and there, but it's going to feel like summer. It's more like summertime weather, to be honest with you. Gusty breeze for today as well, and that's making the surf out there quite choppy. It's rough and the rip current risk is high. Not certainly a beach day. Definitely do not go into the water. The rip current risk is staying high through much of the week.
weekend. Small craft advisory is in effect. The bays are choppy for this Friday. Seas up to six feet. And then tonight we're expecting those thunderstorms passing through and uh, heavy downpours at times. Lows in the upper 70s, maybe even the mid 70s if we get enough rain to cool us down. Then tomorrow, upper 80s, uh, close to the 90s by Sunday. And we still could have a few afternoon thunderstorms uh, Saturday and Sunday and then spotty showers through the early start of next week. Jennifer, thanks. That's the news for now. You can as always find us on CBSMommy.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.